Happy Sunday, everybody. It is time to begin. <clears throat> I hope everything's going well. This is going to be a fun little uh, exercise I've been looking forward to on ranking ships, or at least my opinion of them. The first ones are going to be easy, non, um, non-controversial, and then we'll go through and have some fun. Uh, so, <clears throat> what's on the screen right now is um, the advice panel. So this would be what I would actually give as advice for folks starting out new in the verse. So, if you were just wanting to start out a star citizen and just wanted to get in and get everything you want in the game, all you need is a Aurora. Um, I used to recommend a Mustang. Once this, there we go. Um, however, Mustangs now like to respawn upside down. I think they long for the day when they used to land on their skids. Um, but an Aurora can get you in, start making some money, and you can rent and buy any of your ships in the game. Um, being that this is an alpha, or super pre-alpha, whatever game, is there are wipes, and I don't like grinding, so I don't necessarily, I don't think I've actually ever recommended an Aurora to anybody, like, my friends and family for the game. Um, that'll go into sort of my picks here in a second. Um, my overall advice on Star Citizen in general is find a ship that you love, and love it. Hi, Drez. <clears throat> so, what are my actual picks? So, if I was to just have one ship, only one ship, I would go for a Drake Cutlass. Um, I'll probably gush over this ship a little bit later, but it is a wonderful ship that can get you around in pretty much everything. Um... If I was to have just two ships, I would go for an Avenger Titan and a Drake Cutlass. Avenger is going to feel a little bit more combat-y, but it still has a cargo hold, can still go in and do a bunch of stuff. Um, I was discussing this last night with my wife, Lisa, and um, really, on all of these, my just one and two ships, they all feel sort of interchangeable. Um, one of the things, and if you're going to start spending money, is... Um, you can spend a lot of money if you want to in this game, but you don't need to. Again, you can rent and buy everything in-game. Um, but, like, you can start out with just an Avenger, which I think is like 70 bucks or so. And you can use that to be, like, cover everything that's kind of in-game today, except for, like, mining. Um, but, and then you can either rent or, or buy your job ships and stuff. Um, I would go with a Cutlass first, personally, just because it's a little bit bigger and has a little bit more versatility. I wish the Avenger Titan had jump seats in the back. Um, if you wanted to bring another person around in the the Avenger, they'd have to just sort of sit on your bed or flop around in your cargo hold, while the Cutlass has room for friends. And then, if it was just three ships, I would go with a Cutlass, an Avenger, and a Pisces. Pisces is like the best little knock around ship in the verse. Love the thing. It's like a little delivery van that can putz all around, but it's too small to really be your only ship, in my opinion. Um, but um, I feel like it's like everyone's perfect third ship. Um, the other sort of advice, just as far as alternatives go, I'll do the third ship one first is. Um, ah, there we go is third ship is probably like any specialized job ship like if you can fit that role so like if you're into mining get a mining ship if you're into combat you can get something a little bit more combat focused than let's say the avenger um or even the cutlass cutlass is a bit squishy right now back up onto the top so if i was to just pick one ship um generally my recommendation is between these two, a Freelancer or a Cutlass. They're kind of the same. Freelancer is a bit more tanky and a bit more defensive. Cutlass is a little bit more aggro and aggressive with more forward firepower. Um, I generally recommend 
either one of those two, depending on what your focus wants to be. Um, that said, these both are about a hundred bucks. I think um, Cutlass is right at a hundred. I think some of the freelancers are about one ten. Um, if money's not really too much of a thing, my just one ship alternative is a Mercury Star Runner is just fantastic for a lot of things. But I think that's around 200 bucks, 225 somewhere in there, so it's a bit pricey. And then at that price point, I suppose I should include a Constellation in that, but I'm not. Um, so that's probably what I would say, um, sort of the medium ship, if you were to pick one. If you got if you got 200 bucks burning a hole in your pocket, uh, it's hard for me to say anything other than like the Mercury Star Runner is a great little ship. Well medium ship i suppose um but yeah cutlass freelancer i would inter interchange any one of these three in here and on the two ships or of the avenger line here the nomad's a good little starter ship to putz around with it as a pickup bed in the back it's like the al camino of star citizen um and i would include the reliance series uh, it's neat. I really, really like the Alliance. The our Reliance, the problem that they have is like the Mustang that likes to land upside down at the moment or spawn upside down. The Reliance likes to spawn in vertical configuration at times, which makes it not the most reliable ship to get back into. Um, but, yeah. Um, pretty much any of those six ships, the Cutlass, Freelancer, Mercury, Star Runner, Avenger, Nomad, and Reliant... All of those kind of fit the the bill for me for, like, if you were to just have one ship. Depends on how much money you want to spend on those um, and whether or not um, you like flying them. Because they all have a little bit different flight model. Um, but, yeah, I think you can't really go too wrong with any of those to actually just get in and putz around with one thing. That said... Now comes the fun part. Hey, Starhawk. Starhawk. Oh, and Welcome. hi, Lisa. Also, I've re I've returned. I'm back. Welcome back. Hey, Driz. Hey, Fearless Onion. So, this is my safe general recommendations for people getting into the verse. Um, now is going to be the fun one for me. Is I am going to rank. Star Citizen ships. <clears throat> so, the um, I'm doing good. Thank you, Starhawk. Um, the a couple of disclaimers before I start throwing things in here. And if anyone in chat wants me to do a specific one or wants to hear my opinion on it, um, just shout it out and I'll put it on the the, the chart. Um, when I was going through and making these silhouettes. Um, each ship sort of model has one thing. So I, a Vanguard it just has a Vanguard, but there's four variants of the Vanguard. I just have listed a Vanguard here. Um, so like the 300 series, 100 series, there's a lot of ships on here that have multiple variants of them. I kind of just lump them all together. Um, and there's already a lot of ships to go through. So I have them all color coded by make manufacturer. Um, and then my ranking system that I'm going to go by is <clears throat> the very, very, very top is sort of the platinum trophy. Um, this is ships that have a very special place to me. Um, borderline line of obsession are um, like I can't see myself in the verse without these ships. Like I love these ships beyond all reasonable accounts. Um, they get up here. Then we have the gold, silver, and bronze. Um, that's kind of, you know, first, second, third place for all these things. And then, um, disclaimer, um, because we like to spend money in Star Citizen, is this last IAE, Lisa and I have kind of filled out our fleet with pretty much everything that we want in the verse right now. Um... That's sort of the prerequisite to get a first, second, third, or platinum trophy on this. Um, <clears throat> if we don't own it, it's not going to get a trophy, in essence. Um, 
because it didn't make the cut for us to spend money, so therefore I'm not giving it a trophy. Um, that comes into our two little runner-ups down here. Um, the blue ribbon is kind of like it's on my radar that might be interested to think about at some point. And then the 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 red ribbon is meh, just meh, not interest to me. Um, there, I have a feeling that I might have a couple um, unpopular opinions here coming up, but that's okay. This is why this is fun. Um, my opinions are my opinions. Um, the main thing in Star Citizen is to find a ship you love. Um, just because I might think it's poo-poo doesn't mean it's a bad ship. It just means that I don't want it, and it's going to get ranked low on here. So, so Griff? Yeah. Um, are, all, are all alien ships on one single tier? Because I think I know what tier they're on. <laughs> um, actually, no, they aren't. <laughs> okay, really? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. They're, um, I actually, I forgot I was going to bring that up here, is... I, I, I when I was prepping for this, I looked at our hangers and I did sort of a um, f trying to figure out well what company do we really like? Because I always say I'm a Drake guy, but I'm noticing that a lot of my ships aren't necessarily Drake anymore. So I went through and I looked at our hangar and did a percentage of so my ships and Lisa's ships um, when where they rank. Um, spoiler: Origin and Drake are number one. Um, in our, our fleets. No big surprise. Um, a big origin girl. If you go by makes, so for example, Crusader has four ships, in, in my thinking. You have the Starfighter, the Starlifter, the Star Runner, and the Starliner. Um, we have three out of those four ships. Um, so there we have, you know, 75% of all available um crusader ships um origin and drake still beat that percentage out um but those are spoilers are going to be a lot of our high ranking ships are probably going to be origin drake um oh, yeah. there's only one origin ship we don't have and we're never gonna get it um <laughs> anyway so on that does anyone have a ship that wants this, that I should start with, or shall I just start grabbing from the bottom? All right. And I'll take a sip real quick before I grab one. Oh, and other sort of disclaimer. Um, earlier this year, I've decided that I'm no longer really going to um, pledge a ship that's in concept that's not straight to flyable. Um, there's too many things change so much, and there's if you want lifetime insurance on a ship, there is ample opportunity to get lifetime insurance tokens throughout the year. Um, so I feel no need to rush. That said, there is a couple of ships that we do have in our fleet that are concept, um, including us. Actually, two of them are really special, um, but. If there is nothing, uh, actually, Lisa, since you've already alluded to alien ships, um, huh, here we go. I'll do the very first one that'll get a lot of hate. The Merchantman. Yeah, you're you're in the poodoo list to me. Um, part of my reasoning for this other than so i'm not a fan of alien ships i subscribe to the thought of well once the game's fully released alien ships are going to be expensive um that doesn't seem to be necessarily true but some of the big ships you'll see this with with other sort of capital ones on here is okay everyone in the verse has a merchant man um they likely aren't going to we don't need a bazaar on every corner like, I don't see the need for it. Large orgs, cool. Um, but I don't think that I should have a merchant man. I don't think Lisa should have a merchant man. I don't think the average player should have a merchant man. I don't see the need for it. And, um, and hey, Starhawk, you joined our chat. I wasn't going to say anything. I just wanted to listen. Ah, that's good. Um, <laughs> well, how is everybody today? I'm doing fantastic. Happy Sunday. It's a nice way to start our morning <laughs> yeah. with tea. And Lisa, so good to see you. Ditto. Uh, 
chat with you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not using GM. <laughs> Oh yeah, and that's the point. Um, this is a grazing with Griff thing. Um, chat's open. Um, Lisa or Iggy oh, or anybody good. who wants to dump like Discord in there, you can join our Discord, hang out. Um, all of these sort of grazing shows, like I want to kind of just have fun hangout sort of things. Um, well, that's great. But... I think that's absolutely fantastic that you're willing to, uh, you know, include uh, your straight uh, your. Uh, well, your fan base in, in the talk with you. I think that's great. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, I, I at least sort of like the idea of the whole grazing thing. Because, um, again, me and Lisa's group together is called Grazing Griffin. Um, and I thought the grazing was cute for just a hangout thing. Um, Absolutely. But anyway, um, back on. So I don't... Merchant okay, Man gets the, the poodoo list for me just because I don't see the need for it. Um, just going to keep going through with the alien until someone chimes in with something else. Defender, um, the little crab ship, I'm actually going to put into the, like, blue ribbon category for an alien ship. There you go, Lisa. Is, is that what it's supposed to be? At uh, the Defender? Or... Is that what it's supposed to look like? You think it looks like a crab? Yeah, it looks it like a little a crab. crab. Like, if you go on the front, it has, like, two beady eyes and a little floppy mouth. It is mouth. a space crab. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, kind of, if, if I may, um, hmm? it kind of reminds me of, um, of some, uh, like, a praying mantis head. I can see that, too. Yeah, I can, I can actually see what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people call it, like, the space crab. Like, but I, I can see what oh, you're talking crabs. about, yeah. We have space crabs already. <laughs> um, I wonder they put medical gameplay in. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, wait for the STD attachment on your your multi tool. Um, <laughs> there we go. The, um, By the way, Griff. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just need to say one thing. Mm-hmm. I am loving your hair. Oh, thank you. It looks awesome. <laughs> I was like, I think the best decision I ever made in my life, and now I can never get rid of it. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, second uh, best decision, Lisa. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. watch it. Uh, yeah. the oh. the couch here soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the reason I put the Defender on here, other than apparently it's a pretty good little ship to fly around, is I on the topic of hair. I have a thing for green, and its quantum drive is green, so I get bumped up a ribbon just solely that, on its quantum fair. drive. That's fair. That is very <laughs> fair. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of wondering. Are we going to be seeing different types of quantum travel now that they've introduced the Defender? Or do you think that's just because it's a hybrid ship? I think it's something to just give it a, a little extra yeah. um, floofy I thing. I think it's just a distinction, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I think it's just the distinction between the different kinds of m- makers, I so, guess. So I actually think, and actually I'll, I'll bridge that into the next ship, is I think a lot of some of the neat concepts that they had originally in this game are going to fall away on by the wayside. So, or at least they're going to stay in concept forever. Um, an example. Like Polaris. Yeah, uh, actually, the one that I'm <laughs> going to pick on is the Endeavor. So the Endeavor was my, like, when I very first started, we, we started looking at Star Citizen back at... At the beginning, but we didn't jump in until I think 2015. And the Endeavor was always the ship that I wanted. However, if you watch any of the Inside Star Citizen stuff, any of the things that have features that are yet to be in game, when they start talking about the ship designs and stuff, you can see people like, yeah, I don't want to look at it because they aren't their ships. So I think a lot of the really, really old concepts are going to stay really, really old concepts. Um, you'll start getting things like the raft where, like, it jumps, like, the whole series, for example, in Q, because the raft is the new baby with the new tech, whereas the concept of the holes were older. Um, actually, on that endeavor, sorry, I loved you, but you're in the poodoo list. I love the dream of you. I love, like, every bit of concept of that, but you're not going to do there. Um, whole series, you can be up in here. You're not going to get up. And the, the 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 podium, um, yeah, potential. I really really love the way the whole sea looks. I think the whole sea is going to be super useful. We'll see if it comes out this year. It's supposed to, but we'll see. And did you do all these yourself? The, yes. The outlines of the ships. Yep. 
And they're all available on my um my that, um GitHub, which I'll post. That's actually really impressive, dude. Oh, thanks. Um, they're on um actually since you're in the Discord, I think in general chat I have a link to my GitHub that has the link to all of the the SVG for this, so you could open up Inkscape and pull out all of these. But yeah, I went to um to one of the Fleet Viewer things, put the camera in a top down view, and then create silhouettes from it. Um, and to wrap out that is the raft. I love the interior of the raft. I love the way the raft flies. I love the ray. Everything about the raft, except it costs too much to operate right now, which I assume that'll change. And I just have other things to fly, so you're getting a little bronze for me because I do have you, and I do really, really, really like you. But you're not really being used. <clears throat> and a drink. Where's Where do you stand on... The saber. Raven or just regular saber? Uh, any of the saber class. So sa I don't even think anybody has ever really flown the comet, have they? I don't know. Saber, I really, really love the way that the saber looks. I have, I've always said that the saber kind of reminds me of a cross between an F-14 uh, Tomcat and a... Uh, mix of the Avengers um, uh, Quinjet. Yeah, that's a really good mix. So, the Saber I'm going to put in the blue tier here, because I don't own one, and I'll get to why, because that's going to be the third ship here. So the Saber uh, lives I, here. I own one. The Raven... I, I, when, when it was when it came available, I, I, I uh, um, during Fleet Week, I snatched it. I was close to. Um, the Raven will go here because the Raven, love the way the Raven looks. Ain't going to have a Raven because I didn't buy an Intel Optane dra drive at the time of right. it. Right. So to me, this is kind of a pointless ship. Like, it's really rad. No one's going to have it. Or those that do have it, it's going to be cool and have a super rare thing. It's great. Mm -hmm. It's getting a Poodoo list for me. Thank you, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Um... Now, the reason that the Saber just gets a blue ribbon for me is other things beat it out. So, up until recently this year, me and Lisa really didn't have many fighters. And part of the reason for that is I always have... There's always two of us. And one of the reasons that my our streaming stuff is called Misadventures of Griff and Lisa is because we get up to lots of misadventures. And having a second seat is useful. The reason to me that the Sabre lost out was the Sabre lost out specifically to the Vanguard. Mm. And I went with the Vanguard instead. And the Vanguard, you're going to get a silver. Because I'm fine. I'm not flying you that much. Um, I do have a Vanguard Warden. Um, that's the one I wanted. Um, I know the Sentinel's great and some PvP stuff right now with the CMP. But that's not really my thing. Um, I did See, actually, before... huh? Sorry. Uh, sorry, I was just going to say it was handy before we both started using fighters, but now that we're both using fighters, the Vanguard has definitely gotten less use. Yeah, and, um, actually on the topic of fighters and two seats, the actual fighter for me that hit the sweet spot was, where are you? My wonderful Super Hornet. Oh, the Super Hornet? Yeah, my little sweet murder I, hornet. Uh, yeah, um, I have found that I am just always in this. I love having my six repeaters going. I have... I, I just love it. And it has the two seats. Like, it's a requirement. And I can chain the turrets to my, my, my forward-facing gun. Um, which actually brings up another ship. Which is the Gladiator, which I absolutely love the Gladiator, love the way it looks, and it's super slow. Um, the Gladiator right now, because I can't chain that gun, I'm just, it's sitting down here. I did um, the Gladiator, this IE we went through, we, we filled out our fleet, and then there was like, two ships that didn't make the cut, but then I went through and bought anyway. The Gladiator was one of those because I just always really love the way the ship looks. Two seats, works. But without being able to chain that top turret to the um, the pilot-controlled guns, it just it doesn't have enough oomph. 
Um, and I'm not a huge missile person yet, so I haven't really gone out. I was thinking about loading it up on some torpedoes and stuff and seeing how it does, but, but yeah. Um, but for when it was supposed to be, um, the Vanguard was what I went with first for my fighter. And then that became the Super Hornet, which gets lots of use now. Um, and yeah, and the Sabre just didn't make the cut, mostly because it didn't have a second seat. And it lost out to the Vanguard. <clears throat> and I didn't really compare the Sabre to the Hornet. Because I felt like the Sabre was a little bit of a bigger ship. So I was sitting in that sort of Vanguard competition range for me. Yeah. no, I, I need, And these are all just your personal opinions. You're yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the reason why I like the Sabre so much is because of the look. Mm. It's nimble. It's agile. It's got firepower. It can, uh, uh, you can upgrade it so um, you have a more output of an energy signature. So you can upgrade the, uh, get rid of the uh, engines uh, or the, uh, get put in bigger engines so um, you can fly faster. Or you can um, put in, uh, you can get rid of the uh, old missile racks that you got and uh, uh, go for uh, a little bit more of a bigger, uh, um, well, smaller missile racks but they can hold more missiles. So like maybe like a size two or a size one missile out. So you can still, uh, you know, go around and uh, shoot people with missiles and not go through all four of your missiles like right away. Yeah. I mean, you just instantly have to get reloaded. And, and so, but, um, I, you know, I actually turn um, my uh, stealth fighter, the uh, uh, Sabre, into a, a straight on brawler nice i found a setup that works for me so then i could just you know go in and just start pounding people and uh, they go well the saber doesn't have that kind of fire firepower and i'm like well if you do it right yeah it does yeah but... sorry didn't mean to go on a rant but... oh no hey, rants are fun i like rants Quick question before you continue on. Uh -huh. um, the saber is what driz is currently painting right she's currently painting a saber raven that's yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. And uh, it looks yeah, awesome. Might as well put that out there. Uh, anybody who likes sabers should go to Driz Taloth's uh, channel. I am shouting it out right now. Uh, she is, on her streams lately, she is painting a saber raven and it is coming out amazing. I don't know if she has anyone currently buying it, but afterwards I think she will have it for sale. So yeah, anybody should go cool. check that out. Yeah. Sorry, her art is her ranking. art is wonderful. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm uh, shouting out your guys' channel as uh, much as I can to try to get people to come over to you. Oh, as a matter of oh, fact, when I was done with my uh, uh, stream yesterday, I was gonna uh, uh, raid you guys, but you weren't on. Yeah, we um. So Saturdays and probably it was a test stream. Um, coming up soon, actually, if, Lisa, if you want to shout out Ender, is it sounds like coming up in the few Saturdays from now, we're going to start playing D&D &D on Saturdays on Starship Ender's channel. So trying not to do too much things on, on the Saturday to counter or, or um, conflict with it. <clears throat> and, um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I got it right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, actually, speaking of Ender and Driz and paintings and stuff, we'll do that ship next. Um, do, 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 that's over here. Um, there you go. The arrow. Uh, yes. And so Driz I just painted the arrow. I buying that ship, but yet I have it. I have it because I have it as a loner as something at the moment. Um, it's going to be in the blue ribbon tier for me. Um, my opinion of it might go out and change because I'm, I'm, I want to go out and fly it. I haven't spent too much time flighting it. The reason it's not been a purchase for me is, again, single seat. And um, I'm typically more of a slower, bigger ship sort of guy. Um, so it's always been sort of, that's kind of cool, but it hasn't really hit too much. Specifically, because if I'm down in like the little smaller ship, smaller fast ship is and this was the other one of the ships that with the gladiator that he ended up picking up um is a little m50 from origin 
And I love this little ship. Let me put you up in the silver right now, though, because you're little. It only has two guns, but it's fast. It's maneuverable. And one of my very, very first fond memories of Star Citizen was due to the M50. So back when there was just Port Olisar and nothing else, is for whatever reason I had an M50 in my my uh, my my hangar, and I went out. I flew it around. This was right after I found out that you could um, black out and red out due to G forces. So I flew it out from the station and just spun it around in a circle until my dude passed out, um, because I just thought that was so cool that in a game I could like pass out due to G forces. And I, I got there and I couldn't find my way back to Port Olisar. Like it was, was right here. I don't know where it is. Sort of like the whole like pinata thing, spin you around and send you off in a direction. So what I did was I opened the canopy, EVA'd out of my ship, looked around and went, "Oh, Port Olisar is right over there." Got back in my ship and then flew off to Port Olisar. And the fact that I could go take a little ship, spin it around, blackout get lost, like completely disoriented, EVA out into space, look around as a character and go, oh, that's where I want to go, get back into my ship and then fly there, was just really, really, really cool. And that was one of the first, like, this game is my game moments. And I really, really liked that. Um, it gets a silver for me and that might actually jump up. Um, so tomorrow, my Gladiator NXT... Sticks and Predator Mount should be here. And Welcome I have back, a Chris. feeling... Hey, Driz. Um, I have a feeling that um, when I have the dual stick set up, I'm, the M50 might jump up a bit more. Though it's always fun to go from the M50 into something like... Eh, why not? The Hercules! So... Again, this is that's not split out in C two, M two, or A two. The one I actually have is in the A two because I love the C two and walked around in A two at IAE and went, man, this is an improvement in every way except for cargo capacity. Like this is great. And then looked at the price and then spent a day and a half going, do I really want to upgrade to it? And then decided to yes. But this will be the first one of those ships that I um. Oh, I'll go back to talk about the Merchant Man in a minute if you want. It's my one of my um, probably um, unpopular opinions, but I am I have found that the Hercules in general is a pretty ship, and I am starting to have borderline fetish appreciation of the Hercules ship. So, oh my! It, it it's the first one that I'll go up here and put in here. But it's fun to go from let's say an M fifty to then flying the Hercules and go, oh, that's a bit of a shock. Um, so Driz, my, um, my opinion on the Merchant Man, actually I'll use that as a segue into other things, is the Merchant Man's cool, but it's alien. Um, a lot of the alien ships I'm not a fan of because in theory they'll cost more to operate and run at some point. Um, that's not true in the game currently, but they keep saying at times that it will be. Um, but more so, I don't think everyone needs one. Um, it's cool, but like, everyone's not a 7-Eleven, um, shop owner. And I don't think that it's going to be worthwhile. Like, sure, it's neat to have. An org should have maybe one if it's a large org. But um, actually, this will be my one Drake ship that gets on the Poodoo list. I love the Kraken. The Kraken is beautiful. The Kraken is wonderful. The Kraken is like everything that I would ever dream about having in Star Citizen. Should I have it? Nope. Because I don't need to fly around Port Olisar. Does it make sense for a large orc to have one? Totally. Like, um, Star Jump, um, Grim has a Kraken, I believe. It feels like it makes sense for him, the, the Star Jump community, to have a Kraken. Like, that's cool. Um, <laughs> but do I need one? No. Will I have the crew with me all the time to run it? No. Um, do I have enough yeah, ships to fill it? No. Yeah, totally. But, like, it's not. Um, my opinion of ships, and you'll see this especially when I start doing things. Well, hell, Javelin. Nope, down here. Um, Whoa, Idris. Scarlet's Javelin. Down here. J Scarlet's gonna like kill you. 
Um, Don't let Starlet see this other, video. What other like obnoxious <laughs> um, big ships are you? Where are you? You're a big ship and they're small on here. Oh, Orion. Orion, no, nah, that could work on a thing. It's like the biggest ship and it's the smallest icon. <laughs> um, you're not going to have a crew. Like... Realistically, the server can hold 50 people. A capital ship's going to need to have lots of people. Like, it's just not going to be a thing. It'll be a thing maybe in 10 years. Um, it's just, it's like, not. There aren't enough people in a server to crew it, pretty much. It's like the, the cut well go list. Ahead and put the Polaris in there, too. Uh, the, um, yeah, the, um, so where are you? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. where are you, Polaris? The yellow. Ah, oh, there you go. There's the Perseus. The Perseus and the Polaris. Let's bring both of you up. So the the Polaris... Okay. So I'm going to do the... Oh, my, my my Perseus name didn't come with you. Oh, it's your... It's, you got split somehow. Whatever. Um, boop. <laughs> Quick Inkscape f fixing. Hold on. Get up here. Don't care where you fit. Yeah, no, it's um, so yeah, it's not gonna ha it's not gonna happen. Yeah, so I the, got a feeling that 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 ship's not gonna happen. The Perseus, like, it's on this line because that's the mine layer, right? The Perseus. I have no clue. I've never even heard of it. I think I just know that the Polaris. No, the is Nautilus not is the the mine layer. I think, and they'll put these all like around each other. I'm um, not interested in either of them. Um, the whichever one's the mine layer, which I think might be the Nautilus, is a little bit better because, as was pointed out on another stream, um, Star Citizen made dropping bomb bombs fun. So I think mine laying might I be saw, fun. I saw somebody uh, it's like uh, they dropped like this big one. It was just like a. Uh, uh, they dropped it for I don't know how how many high, and it nearly wiped them out because they didn't really know the blast radius of the bomb. Yeah, it was impressive. Um, yeah, I still haven't dropped a bomb in mine. I I was going to go drop bombs on Jump Town because of the bread lines. I don't like PvP. Like I am like uh, I, I I just generally don't like PvP. I'll do it occasionally if need be. I think I've only I only died once fighting a person in my one and only battle. Um, with another PvP player, yeah, and Sorry, I could, I just could, I can't, I couldn't get my Vanguard I, I, on target with it, and I died. Um, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know, it's, I can't do it. But because, um, yeah, the thing that bothers me though is Jump Town's a PvP event, and it rubbed me the wrong way that people were standing in bread lines to hand out drugs. And it's like if we're a peaceful really? server, yeah. There's a lot of drama over it because then PvPers will come in and go, it's not supposed to be safe because it's not supposed to be safe. But it's the one time I started to want to be a troll is just to fly in with my A2 and start dropping bombs on people waiting in the bread line. I didn't. The, the zero thing still makes my blood boil. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but anyway, the Orion, it's a um, massive ship. Actually, Reclaimer, you can come hang out with the Orion too. <laughs> yeah, dress. <laughs> I um, I really, really, really like the Reclaimer. I sort of like the Orion too. It's just too much ship, in my opinion. A lot of the big ships, again, like from all of the games, I know I can always have Lisa with me. Sometimes I can get yeah. a third or fourth player. Like, sure, we're going to have um imp uh, AI blades. We can slot in the ships. We can buy. Or we can buy an extra game package to have an NPC crewmate. Um, there's supposed to be things to make bigger ships more capable for smaller groups. Um, I don't think it's going to be that way. I think unless you're... I know Driz. I'm excited for that. Um, <clears throat> that sounded creepy. Um, yeah, it did. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I, I, bit. I just... Anything that gets too much over a four-person crew, you know minimum one to two crew maximum like four to five that feels like a good sweet spot for a lot of the things anything that gets over that granted the reclaimer and the orion i don't think 
require that but they're just too big of a ship operating costs and stuff like big org stuff cool but not everyone's gonna have a giant org so like if you it's one of those things i wouldn't spend real life money on i'd earn it in game and i'd earn it in game by working through the tiers to get up to it um if you're like super hardcore salvage person um actually here with the the vulture which is one of the ah, actually i don't care about this anymore you can go away um the vulture which is one of the few concept ships on here you're just going to sit here in this bronze category because i don't know how good you are yet um actually i'll give you a silver because i'm super hopeful for you <laughs> like start out a vulture and then eventually if you do a lot of salvage and you get to the reclaimer are probably the 15 straight to flyable ships that are going to fit in here too um just because i think that's their new operating procedure like earn it in game but like starting out of the gate with a reclaimer it's like your end game ship you're not going to be able to do things in game to make enough money to op support the operating costs on it unless you're part of a big org and that's sort of oh. my idea of like on the orion the mole which is cool you can get up here for mining well, unfortunately i do have to get going oh well it's but, glad uh, that you I... stopped in oh yeah i'm just uh uh, you know, I, I uh, wanted to uh, just uh, chat with you guys a little bit before I get my day started. Nice. So, uh, I enjoy, enjoy uh, talking to you guys, and uh, I love your insights on a lot of things. Oh, thanks. Um, but I'll uh, I'll definitely be shouting you guys out when uh, uh, when I get to streaming again. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, thank and you. we'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Have a great Take Sunday. Care. Have a good day. You too. Bye. So, mole, and then for that extent, the... Um, da, 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 da. <gasps> Did I not get the... Um, I don't think I got the... Um, prospector on here, because it's not here. So, include the prospector with the mole. Um, like, I, I would think it's better to go with a prospector and mole over than an Orion, for example. Vulture over a, re a reclaimer. Um, the Polaris is going to actually be demoted. I would have actually put the Polaris probably in the blue ribbon category because we don't own it. It'll be here. The Polaris, the um, other unpopular opinion, the Carrick, which actually, because I currently have a Carrick, is down here. Because I do, I do not enjoy flying the Carrick like at all. Um, have both lost out to me because of being being able to have been lucky enough to have won the Odyssey on Star Jump Ender's channel. So the Odyssey is now it's going to sit up here. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, and you're going to like hang out over here because I will never ever 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 get rid of the ship. I'm trying to figure out what to end up calling it because um, I want to have something relating end ender or something like that in its name. Um, it's getting, even though it's not released and it's all purely hypothetical, I am sentimentally attached to that ship. Also, it feels like it's the closest thing that I'm going to get to the Bebop in here. Um Especially if we bring like little snub fighters to fit in the hangar. Like, it feels like this is going to be a good adventure ship. Um, Carrick was that too. Um, because of the Odyssey, I have a Carrick as a loner. I just don't enjoy flying the Carrick. Um, the. Um... Oh, yay. What was. Oh, your name was Be. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, the Bebop is what I wanted in this game, which actually on that front, the Liberator felt kind of like that. Oh, I actually put the Liberator up here. Um, I want to be Jet. That's like my my thing. I would love to just have a big ship with little snub fighters that we just hang out with and go on adventures. Um, the Odyssey might be that, especially if Lisa decides to fly around on the little itty bitty ship or the Fearless Onion has a little bitty ship or whatever. Um... But it's just that concept is neat. But then I also go and think, I don't know how much that's going to be in Star Citizen for a while. <clears throat> like, 
like sort of like the idea that we've been doing with the ships so far where we have little ships stationed at the various stations throughout the verse um to go from let's say you know crusader up to port olisar so i'm not going to take a giant ship down into atmosphere and crusader instead i'll take a little ship and that little ship is stationed up in the the um, orbital station over the city um i see that being sort of the thing you have a, one or two ships that you're like knock around like traveling ship and then you have various ships staged at location like oh my super hornet over in hurston because that's where the bounties are at um but that ship lives there it doesn't really have the range to go around on things um um but yeah we'll see the odyssey is now a special place and i don't know what i want to call it but it's there um and i feel like the carrick and merchant man are going to be like probably a lot of the unpopular opinions of ships here um because a lot of people like them they just don't do it for me um lightning round mustang i do have a mustang now you know hangry sarah won't like that but um it is like a flying chicken mustang used to be fun and likes to land upside down now it's only really in the fleet because i wanted to have all the starter ships just so i can play with them to have opinions on them um you get down here in the bronze that you're kind of you're kind of on the way out here you can be on the line nomad is a good little ship um put you in the silver tier um we do have a lisa has a nomad we used to have two nomad ships um because they're just really useful just as i started fleshing out the fleet um it i had too many ships that do sort of the same thing on that and the nomad lost um but we still do have a nomad and we do use that for a lot of things the eclipse is really really cool um you're going to just be in the blue ribbon category single seater very specific um job you're going to see probably a lot of the combat ships that are going to probably be down here um one combat ship that you won't see is the avenger the avenger you are up here you're special because you have you are the first ship to officially have a name for me in star citizen that wasn't used for something else which was the um the moldy penguin um my very 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 first ship in the game was an mpuv back when it was first announced um i got that a mustang starter package that became a titan those were my the titan and the mpuv or my my first ships in the verse i love the argo cargo like a lot until i can navigate with it it sucks um because it doesn't have a yes i froze up in your back end there fearless onion I have pictures of Frosty Croft Griff on that. Um, but the MPUV, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It was one of my favorite ships to fly around. It's completely useless at its job because you can't see. You have to fly by sight. So you can't open up any sort of navigation on it because it doesn't have a quantum drive. Um, the Avenger, I actually did not like originally. Um, I got it because everyone loved it. This was before it, re it, it got bigger and was revamped. Um, and, um, I went for a good time without it. After the redesign, I got it again. And, um, once it got painted a moldy green color, I fell in love with it. I found that if I'm just putzing around the verse all by my little lonesome, I'm generally taking the Avenger. It has enough room to get, or enough gas to get from one side of the verse to the other pretty okay. It has cargo, so I can do my courier missions. It has pew pew, so I don't really feel too bad being out in the verse away from things with it so it, it's special it's up there gladius i'm going to rate because this lisa has this but i don't know where lisa's going to put it but i'll put the gladius up here in gold that feels like a good spot for it you can get a gold okay. um, it has um probably has its gold um pass done it's a squadron 42 ship it's solid i don't fly it lisa has it um i fly my super hornet in the combat role um yeah i, I think gold, gold it's a nice little solid ship hammerhead now that we're making more and more friends in the verse this is getting up on my blue ribbon tier because it could be fun but see previous statements about having the crew to operate that 
Um, especially since it requires the, like, if I wanted to have it fully gunned, like, my, my A2 needs a lot of people, too. But, um, yeah, it, it can stay in. I love the way it looks. Love the concept on it. It might be fun. But that's more if we have a reliable party of people that are always going to be around to crew it, then, yeah. 100 since I... had a good point about it. I think it was Ender. Essentially, um, a lot of the guns are essentially not going to be facing the target at one time. Only one or two of the guns will be facing the target at one time because of how far out they are and whatnot. And so that's affected the way I look at the hammerhead now. Gotcha. <clears throat> the um, 100 series, I was going to give it a gold, but I think it might actually be up in this platinum tier now. Um, um yeah. I, I, I personally, this is your rating, but I would personally put it platinum. It is a really fun ship to fly. It doesn't necessarily have a purpose, but... Like, it's not, like, a real strong fighter or whatever, but as a planet-to-ship, or planet-to-station type of ship, it is really fun. So, it's it's it, an excellent really runabout, like, it. like, to get from planet to station. It's great. Yeah. Um, it's fun to fly, and it's it has saved my bacon once. Like, well, if Lisa's flying, it has saved my bacon multiple times, but... Um, as I was saying, I like flying my Titan out when I'm by myself. Well, I got a bug recently where my, my little Titan got swept away by, um, by some strong winds on a planet, and it just sort of flew into the mountainside. And that would have left me stranded because I was playing by myself, except for the 100 series currently can be spawned at the same little tiny pads on a planet that you can spawn a rover at. So I was able to spawn the 100 series and then go over, see my wreckage of my poor Titan, Avenger Titan, and then get off the planet because of my 100 series. Um, it's just the fact that you can spawn it at the, the little tiny, tiny um, mm -hmm. things makes it super useful. <clears throat> 300 series. So Lisa has one. I will, I don't actually have one purchased right now, but I have it as a loaner for something. Um, I do plan to have a 350R, um, but yeah, I think the 300 series is kind of sitting. It used to be higher ranked for me, but I feel like it's a bronze ship at this point. Yeah, I was going to say silver or bronze. Yeah. <clears throat> for me, I'm going to put it in bronze, I think. I agree. It got bloated in its redesign. Um, yeah. The, um, the ship that needs a redesign is a freelancer, in my opinion. Or at least an update. The freelancer is oh, yeah. feeling long in the tooth right now. It was... Once upon a time, I'd put it up here in the like special tier because it was Lisa's first real ship that she loved. And I don't think we're ever going to get rid of it because of that. But this is my list, and right now the freelancer's down here. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I agree. It's It needs the gold pass really bad, in my opinion. Oh, we can do a couple fast ones here. The Pioneer, really, really love the concept of it. If you're going to be a like civil engineer, this is useful for you to go just build houses for people. Um, yeah, that's never going to, or it's not never going to happen, but it's a ways out. You can stay down here. And I don't think it's going to be a ship for everybody. 890 jump, ooh, it's cool and big and fancy. Yeah, you're down here. Um, I just... It's too much ship for the average thing, and there's no real things other than being fancy. And don't get me wrong, actually, that segues in this one. Fancy is useful, especially for the VIP stuff coming up. And on that, we have the 600, which in Lisa's case is the luxury edition, not even the exploration one, but the luxury one. And you're getting up if here. I, if I had my way, I'd put a platinum I mean, it has no purpose other than being an NPC taxi and being pretty, but I freaking love that ship. I now have enough fun memories of you flying that ship, and you fly it really well. Like, oh. out of all the ships, I feel like that's Lisa's ship. Like, she has consistently flown it great. It just always fits in the hangar right. Like, it just seems to really <laughs> gel with Lisa. <laughs> um, so I have a lot of fond memories of the 600. And we've only had it for a couple months now. And, like, and not the exploration, the luxury version. And I am excited for the luxury version because in the redesign coming up, it sounds like it gets a snub. And that snub will likely be the 85X. 
which is a really, really fun little um, um, runabout in essence. But I'm going to put you in the silver tier because you're really useful for putzing around and sightseeing, but not really anything else. It always fits in the hangar, right? Yep. That works. I, <laughs> I approve of that message. Um, on the Origin kick... Oh, this is the last Origin. Um, my 400 series, I didn't like the hook nose on it. It grew on me, specifically on the like non-white paint jobs of it. Um, silver, because I really Wait. like it, but like I don't find myself <laughs> flying it all that often. Huh? I think I was going to say you're missing an origin ship, but no, you did it while I was typing the quote. The 85X. Oh, yeah. No, it's right there. Boom. I think that's a good place for it. It's actually, com like, in a combat way, it's actually not bad. Like, it's it's got the turrets for the guest, and there's a lot of good things in it. It's got some negatives, like the whole needing the person to get out before you can open the canopy again and get out yourself and stuff like that. But it's a nice little ship. Alien lightning round. Oh no. The Talon is snazzy. It's no. a glass cannon. The Talon might come back at some point. It can get there. Technically, I, yeah. I had it at one point, and I loved the look of it, but I died super fast in it because I'm not a good fighter. Um, And then here's my, my, my bias. Raylan, get a Hercules. Um, Prowler, get like a Valkyrie. You can even shrink your take up too much space. Go down here, whatever. Um, or sorry, a Valk did I say Valkyrie? Get a Valkyrie. Um, our Vandal guys here are all really, really cool. I love the aesthetic on them. I'm not gonna fly at all. I messed up the blade. Oop. Ah. Uh, uh, there we go. Yoink. Somehow I got into the itself ah shrink you down our vandal ships you can go here too why not just hang out with the rest of the poo ships um the santak yai or however you pronounce it's really really cool looking on one of the star jump um cinematics i was looking at it, it's like really really snazzy no you're down here think you're a bomber get a gladiator or um, Eclipse or something else, and the cut to or car through all, yeah. You're snazzy, you're cool, you're funky, whatever. Live down here. I was right for most of them. Like, there's only one or two aliens that don't live in the, the same tier. It would have, it would have actually been one if it wasn't for the fact that the defender um, has the green um, quantum tunnel. And actually, the Defender being ranked here owes, owes it solely to Zero State. <laughs> Say, you know, like, the fact that Zero State defends the Defender so adamantly and he uses it so well makes me think that it's a pretty decent ship. Yep, I think it's a decent ship. Um, I'm only interested in because of its green... Um... <laughs> Thing. Now for some com something completely different. Let's do our Crusader ships. It, yeah, Mercury Star Runner goes platinum in my opinion. You are right. Mercury Star Runner is platinum. Lisa, that is Lisa's everyday knock around ship. Like I have, like we are in the Mercury Star Runner all the freaking time. It is a really, really, really good ship. It's from using it. It's um. The, the cost of operations on it has been great. Um, it is just a great, great ship. Great, great, great ship. Great ship. By the way, it's a great ship. You think <laughs> it's a great ship? Yeah, I do. Genesis Starliner. This was like the Odyssey. Not even of, out yet. It's not out. So that means it's already relegated to two ribbons here, typically. Um, this was, like, for the longest time, and it's still mostly true, the Hercules has kind of knocked it down a peg because I've developed an um, unhealthy obsession with the Hercules. Um, the Starliner was the ship. Like, the the, um, the Endeavor and the Starliner were, like, my dream ships. And, but, 
at this point, I think that it has to be radically redesigned. It does not fit with the aesthetics of the rest of the Crusader ships at all. Um, I expect the cockpit to look more like a Hercules, the engines to change, all of it to change. Um, I am still interested in it, mostly because if we got that, then like we'd have 100% of the Crusader ships in our fleet, so I feel like it's going to have to be purchased just because of that, but yeah. And then the Ares Starfighter! So I have a um, an Ion. Um, That's what it... Okay, sorry. The, um, a lot of people are having problem with that at the moment. I did not per se buy the Ion over the Inferno because of I wanted to have a sniper ship. I just... I don't like ballistic weapons in this game. I don't like worrying about ammo. Um, so I still like my Ion just fine. Um, I'm going to put you... Uh, eh. I think I'm going to put you in the silver tier. I'm not flying you that much, um, at the moment. And, did I... Oh, I scaled you. Looks a little off, but whatever. Um, you're going to sit in the, I think, silver tier. Uh, I know Ender loves his Inferno. For Ender, I think it would be up here. I think actually those two would be probably Ender ships, the Star Runner and the Infer the not uh, yeah the Inferno. Um, but I, I think you're going to be down here for my Ion and just in general. Yeah, that feels about right. Hi, hi Silver Tear. Hi, like it's well here we can we can have a winglet into gold. <laughs> um. And actually, you can start to see some of the bias already. So, hey, look at the Crusader ships. Oh, look at the, like, Origin ships. <laughs> um, SRV, you aren't in game yet, but you have a cool purpose. You go here. You're a little tugboat. That would be kind of cool at some point. Um, Razor, it's cool that you're, like, an indie car, but meh. I got my M50. Starfarer, you need an interior redesign. So I have a lot of Pudu ships, it seems. <laughs> my, um, my, like, not happy list is fairly high. Um, Reliant. Reliant, you would be higher. The fact that I could have six um, Pew Pews on you would put you probably up here. I really like the way you look, but until you get fixed so you're not spawning always vertically, I think you're down here. Oh, is that why you haven't been um, using it lately? Yeah, it, I like flying it around. It's cool. It has a lot of neat things, but like, anytime. So the Mustang spawning upside down is funny to me, um, especially since you can at times jump up and still get into it while you're upside down. Um, yeah. Plus, it used to land on its skids, so now that it's upside down, landing on its skids just feels funny to me. Um, but, like, they're like, both the Mustang and the Reliant, and this could be patched because I haven't taken them out recently, but both of them feel like they're a one-shot ship. You fly them to your location, and then if you spawn them again, they're going to be upside down or vertical or sideways or something weird. Um, so I can sit there. <coughs> the Hawk you're you're here you were cool i liked when lisa was flying you around you have a lot of pew pew you're you're funky dig it um you're not in our fleet because reasons so you're you're down there you just lost out to the gladiator and other our gladius and other ships aurora your stock is up higher than like you used to be for me you can be here you're a solid little ship um i think putting you in a bronze would be Sad. The um, I'll, I'll shout out Zero State again. Just Zero State's Zero to Hero in the Aurora. You're a capable little ship. You're fine. Um, yeah. You're you're hunky dory. Um, they're not the best thing in the verse. You're not the worst thing. You can get us over though. I would still say that Zero State's Zero to Hero is prime example of uh. It's not you. Not completely about the ship's quality, but like ninety percent, it's about the uh, quality of the fighter <laughs> person. Why? Why does he keep kicking me in the dick? <laughs> kicking me in the dick. Um, 
see the clip section for reference for that. Um, <laughs> I have the, the, the Merlin and the Archimedes just rolled up into Kruger. It has no jump drive. It comes out of the butt of um, the Connie's. They're rad. They're fun. You can sit up here. Like, you're... As a snub fighter, you're fantastic. Your usefulness is because you're a snub fighter. Um, but you're really freaking fun to fly. Um, actually, on that yeah. front... Const- oh, sorry. I was going to say it was the Archimedes type thing. Yep. Yeah. Um, Constellation. Until Lisa's Phoenix. The Phoenix, by the way, to me, has the best interior of any ship. I love Lisa's Phoenix. Like, just chilling in the VAC VIP things. With the VIP missions, it's going to be fun and awesome. Um, I'm not a huge Constellation fan, but we'll we'll put you with your snub fighter. That's fine. You feel like a solid, like... Really? Silver. Well, the Phoenix is great, but, like, the... Eh, I just... It, it doesn't rub me the right way. It's, it's your opinion. You're 600. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, in my opinion, it's at least a gold. Um, but this is your opinion in your list. Actually, so I'll, it, I, I will, I'll, I'll land, give it a gold. Right, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm on the fence. I really like your Phoenix. I don't think it's going to be sitting up in the, the platinum tier for me. No, I don't like, think it's Like, your platinum. Star Runner, I, your 600, exactly these three are, to me, This is these are the three ships I associated yeah. with you now. The Avenger is yeah. even kind of going to that. But these are, like, if, I, if I'm sitting in my mind going, what are Lisa's hero ships? It's those three. <laughs> um, the Phoenix is cool. The Taurus is super useful for cargo running. Like, if you like the way it looks and can do whatever, the, um, the Andromeda is people use for bounty hunting because you can kill things before they even get in range. It's useful. It's versatile. You can get a gold. Um, that's fine. Uh, that's good. We. Yay! Let's do a. This is an anvil, right? No, not anvil. This is RSI. RSI lightning round. For these three. The mantis is neat. And constantly, I'm on the fence of kind you of lost wanting the name. one. I... No, I did lose the name for the Apollo. Come back. It's because, like, what I end up doing is hitting control, because other games, like, there we go, um, other programs use control to do individual things. Inkscape is still just one. Um, anyway, thank you. Mantis, you're neat. You're, you look really cool. You do the whole um, um, interdiction thing. I don't have one of you in my fleet yet. I'm thinking of taking the MPUV, MPUV that I got for um, a Fearless Onions recommendation, which is named Snowball, because I'm just going to snowball it into bigger ships over and over again. I keep thinking about doing that into a Mantis. Haven't yet. You're, you're sitting here. You're pretty snazzy. Um, Apollo, I was really interested in you um, with the medical gameplay loop. You didn't come up for sale, nor were you flight ready when um, the medical gameplay happened. Um, yeah, that's you're... kind of poodoo. Like, the fact that, like, medical came and Apollo didn't, I yeah. feel like they really should have tied that better. And that I feel like, <laughs> yeah, retail therapy, go burr. Yeah, we should go post burr, our yeah. fleet pics, and the fleet pics should just be retail therapy in general. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm really interested in the Apollo, at least I was for medical gameplay, but when it launched, I'm kind of less into it. It can still be here because it's sort of on my, yeah, maybe. Scorpius is snazzy. You can be here, too. Um, that also gets a bonus point because two pilots. Um, if I do this again in like a year after this releases, it probably will, might jump up. Um, it's a very, very big thing for me to have t- at least two seats in a ship. Um, the defend uh, the the crab ship defender gets that too bonus points. Um, <clears throat> the um, but yeah, and crabs crabby and the Scorpius isn't in game yet, so I'm kind of putting it out of the way. Um, yeah, uh, da, 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 da. let's let's do some more unpopular opinions. Ah. 
I have gone too far. So, unpopular opinion time. Oh, well, it shouldn't be too unpopular just because they aren't in our fleet, so we don't have them. Vulcan will be cool for repair coming online. It might be interesting to get. Um, Retaliator, I absolutely love this ship flying it. Um, the the cargo variant when it comes online might be interesting. I love the look of it. I love everything on that regard. However, the lack of any pilot-controlled weaponry, um, aside from the, the missiles or torpedoes, you kind of get... Uh, you can skirt the line. You're mostly... I, I just... I have fond memories flying you, but no. And the Redeemer, yay, it's cool. It's the flavor of the month and whatever right now. It has lots of pew-pew. You require, I think, a good amount of people to have it around. It just doesn't do it for me. Actually, it doesn't do it for me enough that you're kind of skirting the line down here. But that's more on aesthetic. It is a capable ship doing cool things and it makes people go ow. But, and yeah... I'm going to save my friends for last because they're just, they're all here and they're happy. We'll just do a, a Drake happy run coming up here. Bias. Um, let's do our, the remaining Anvil ships. Valkyrie. Actually, no, do Terrapin first. So Terrapin's the turtle. Um, love everything about the Terrapin except for its price point. It sits here. Um, it just doesn't feel particularly useful and too expensive for what it is if you were to buy it with cash. Um, I did. I was going to be buying one for Lisa for Christmas because, like, we really like the ship. Um, but, like, it's just, it's, it's expensive. It just looks cool. Some of its gameplay things, like the venting features it has, will be useful at some point. Maybe, <clears throat> but it's just, it's, it's, it's not there. Um, the Mama Turtle, the Valkyrie, um, I actually really love this ship. Um, I didn't buy it last year because it didn't have cargo, or at least it looked like it didn't have cargo. Um, I found out that it could still have a little bit of cargo in it. This is sort of my, um, <laughs> this is my bunker stuff mission. <laughs> To, to steal Ender's phrase. Um, I'm, you're skirting the line right now for me. I love the ship. Right now it's rear ramp. Makes it do w w weird things when you spawn it. Um, the, um, I also am a little bit sad that it got blown up when it was just sitting on one of the missions that me and Lisa were on. It's... Useful for bunker stuff. I want to throw a couple like vehicle, like cars or um, buggies in the back and go off on adventures. Love the interior, except when the ladder doesn't let me climb it, then I get cranky. Um, I just, I'm not seeing that I'm flying it as often lately, specifically because I think of the ramp bug. But uh, yeah, that's about there. I really, really like them. Whatever. Hornet. Hornet's cool. Can't have two people. Super Horned one. So you go down here. Um, Hurricane. Lots of pew pew with two people. Um, if you're always with two people, that's cool. Hurricane was interesting. More so until Lisa started flying. And now that Lisa's flying. Um, it sits there. It has a lot of firepower. And it's a really cool looking ship. Um... But, yeah, you didn't make the podium for me. I liked how it looked, but, you know, I needed something that I could solo. The, the hurricane is not a solo bowl. Um, Crucible, I love the concept of the repair things. I think this is going to have a massive redesign before it gets anywhere near whatever. Um, similar th sort of thing with the raft and the cargo refactor. I think that when the repair... Um, gameplay loop comes out this year. I actually think we're going to get new ships to do the replay or the repair stuff over getting the Crucible. I think the Crucible is an old enough concept that it's going to be ignored, just like the the um, the Endeavor and a couple of the other old 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 concept ships, 
Like, it'll get there at some point, but I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. I actually expect when Repair comes online that we'll likely get the Vulcan and some new straight-to-flyable ship. Because um, that just seems to be what it is. But my my dream of being like the Bebop or, you know, having a little cargo or, or hangar, it can sit there. The Lightning is supposed to be the best of the best fighter ship. You can steal them. Um... Me and Lisa are whales. We are not that big of a whale yet to have a lightning. Um, you can hang out down here. You're a combat ship. Single thing. Lot, there'll be lots of pew pews. But like. Yeah. If I spend like $10,000. Cool. I'll like my lightning. I don't plan to spend that much money. And might get it in game of Squadron 42. But. Eh. Meh. Meh. It also has a lot of bits on it. Um, Pisces. Pisces is like super happy, wonderful platinum ship of love. Like Yay. the Pisces, we we call it. It's our little pigeon ship. We call it Pidge. Um, it's a carrier ship, like putzing around a, a um, specific planetary system. So, like, Area 18 and its moons, or Microtech and its moons. If you're just staying in system to do, like, delivery missions, or just, you know, moving stuff around, thing's freaking amazing. It's like, you can get right up to doors, it's just, there's there's two jump seats in the back. Um, those jump seats make me think every ship with an interior should have at least one of those little folding jump seats. Um, it's just a really, really, really snazzy little ship. Like... I feel like it should be everybody's third ship. Like, it doesn't do... Like, it's great for courier missions. It's like the best courier ship ever. It's like a little FedEx van. Um, just love the thing. It has four, four size one guns on it, which is the same as, like, the Aurora. I think the Aurora gets a bit more range. The last time I was poking around in the Pisces, um, the Explorer version of the Pisces, not just not the snub fighter for the, the Carrick, but the Expedition Pisces. And I think it actually had a bigger gas tank on it than I remember. But it's just a good little ship. Like, I have a bunch of stupid fond memories of that little ship and Lisa and us doing, like, box missions and stuff with it. It is a wonderful little ship. It is great. I think everybody should have one if they can have multiple ships. Um, it just wouldn't be your only, only ship, in my opinion. Um, but love the thing. It's just magical. It's a good ship. Good ship. Good ship. Good ship. It's a good ship. It's a good little ship. Who's a good little ship? You're a good little <laughs> ship. <clears throat> ah, and now... Drake. Drake, Drake, uh, Drake. Did you do Pudge? I must have missed it. No, Pudge is right here. Pudge is a oh, hero. There, okay, there's, there, there, oh, yeah. So I'll start with that. So we call this ship Pudge because it's a little pudgy like ship with little bird bird wings on the side. It's so there. Like, it's like a, it's a fat pigeon. <laughs> and love the interior. And it has, <laughs> has jets out of its ass. I love the fat, the interior is great. Love the interior of the Herald. Um, love the concept of just, in essence, a seat strapped in massive engines. Um, right now this is my ship to get out of Atmosphere on Crusader. Um, I think it takes like two minutes to just point the nose up and just full throttle. Um, its gameplay loop is not in the game. Um, it has, yeah, no real weapons. It, it goes fast in a straight line. It does its job well. Um, you, you get a silver. Like, I'm attached to you. You're cool. I'm not in... I only use you to get out of Atmosphere and Crusader, really. Um, the flip side, it takes two minutes to get out of Crusader. The Caterpillar, because I had my wonderful th thought of, hey, I don't want to stop at another station to change ships. I'll just take the Caterpillar out of Crusader. 55 minutes later, when I got into space and with only 25% of my fuel left... <laughs> um, yeah... But the Caterpillar, I love the Caterpillar. Um, it has gotten to be that, like, you aren't going anywhere. You are very firmly, like, I love the Caterpillar. 
Um, one of the reasons why it changed the C2 to the A2 was the C2 and the Caterpillar competed a little too much in my mind. Uh, with the C2 being a little bit better. Um, but I love the Caterpillar. Love the Caterpillar. Not even taking into mind that the fact that the, the command console is supposed to fly off and be like, you know, it's like a, a herald. But, you know, fly off and do its thing. Not even the fact that all the modules are supposed to be swapped out. Which, all of those features I don't think are going to be around for a while. Um, I feel like those are the features that were promised back before the current dev people are doing stuff. And I think it's sort of like the... the um, the endeavor where like if when they get asked about they sort of you know roll the eyes it's like yeah, we'll get to it because it's not their baby um so i don't actually think that they're going to happen at some point um i love the caterpillar caterpillar's great um <clears throat> yeah caterpillar's great love caterpillar caterpillar um stop saying caterpillar <laughs> The Buccaneer, I actually have one because it's a loner for something. I haven't spent money on it. I will spend money on it at some point. I love everything that this the Buccaneer looks like. Like it has, it had. If you want to take my design aesthetics and put it in a ship, like to me, the Buccaneer is the best looking starship in Star Citizen. I love the way the Buccaneer looks. I love the concept behind it. <clears throat> The um, Super Hornet wins out between the two. Their loadouts are fairly similar, but guess what? The Super Hornet has a second seat. Um, if the Buccaneer had, like, I want a Super Buck. Like, just an, an extra co-pilot seat. Just make its little beak a little bit longer. Put another butt in the seat, and it'll be higher up. I will have one at some point because they're it's just great. It's a little squishy for me in general, but you're, you're a solid silver. I um you're too pretty not to be. Um Cutlass Cutlass is the ship that made me love Star Citizen. Um until recently of memories of that ship. Yeah, until recently if I was to have my hero ships like it would be these two, the Cutlass and the Caterpillar. Um I have other ships that do things a little bit better now than the Cutlass. Like, for bunker stuff, I'll take the Valkyrie over the Cutlass, for <laughs> example. Um, for putzing around the universe, going from, like, Microtech to Crusader, I'll take the 400. Um, to do delivery missions in system, I'll take the Pisces. If I'm just by myself, I'll take the Avenger. Like, I have found that I'm using the Cutlass less. But... The Cutlass does everything okay. Is probably a good thing on it. Um, recently, I found that I'm using the Cutlass a lot for like re um, rescue and recovery missions. So when it has you going out flying to a location and then looking for a body or finding a box of cargo just out in the space, I found opening, um, and to be clear, I'm talking the Cutlass Black, opening the, um, the side doors, Lisa going out EVAing to find the body or finding the box, me keeping there with the engines hot, to move around in case something comes into a taxis, which is how we lost the Valkyrie on one of the missions. Um, the Cutlass is just super useful. The Cutlass Black, it's back room. You can get vehicles in there. You can throw random crap in there. Like, it's just super useful for things. If it was just one ship to me, my one ship would be the Cutlass. Like, it's just great. Um, as I should probably preface this, my one ship without spending hundreds of dollars. It's just $100. Um, would be the Cutlass. Um, if you have a bigger, you know, bank account, you know, Mercury Star Runner, I think, kind of does the same sort of stuff, but a little bit better in some ways. Um, you know, like, there's stuff that other ships can do better for more money, but I don't think you can go wrong with the Cutlass. The, um, old Cutlass commercial where it's, like, the, um, the, the Tango, like, it just, it's great. Love the Cutlass. Yeah. Cutlass is, is wonderful. Um, I can never, ever, ever get rid of my Cutlass, period. Um, back when I started, I didn't like the original Titan. Um, and then I flew the original Cutlass and fell in love with the game. 
fell in love with the ship. Everything else could be damned. As long as I had my, my Cutlass, the, the verse was mine. Um, I was lucky that I actually liked the rework. The helicopter doors on the Cutlass are, Cutlass Black are great. Um, Cutlass Red's great little medical ship, if that's your bag. Cutlass Blue looks like it could be cool when we're, like, actually trying to take people alive. Um, Cutlass Steel is a joke. Um... I wish I could have the door guns of the Cutlass Steel. Just one on each door, not two on each door for the black. But the, um, yeah, the um, the Cutlass Black is a wonderful, wonderful ship. Um, and then I am sad. I'm going to have to go through and make a, um, a Prospector outline. Again, Prospector I kind of put with the mole. Um, but I did not make an outline for the Prospector. Um, and then their final, final ship is the Corsair. So the Corsair is on concept. Um, the Corsair, you're going to be up here with these guys. Just actually we'll skirt the line there. If the Corsair delivers on what it's promised to deliver, it will be part of my hero ships. Um, the Corsair will likely be my daily flyer for everywhere. Um, has room for buggies, uh, does some exploration stuff. It might be fun to go explore Pyro with. Um, it's not as big as like the Odyssey or other ships. Like it feels pretty good. The Corsair, the 600, um, all feel sort of in Constellation even like all feel in that bit of a, a, a role. Um, I don't necessarily put the Star Runner in the competition with the Corsair. I know others do. Um, I think the Corsair is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, the Corsair, if it delivers on what it's supposed to deliver on, I think is going to be here. Um, I was going to put all the ships that were in concept off to the side because they don't really count at the moment. But the the Odyssey and Corsair and other things just made me want to do that. So I think... That's it. Let's see. The Platinum tier. <clears throat> Starlifter, Avenger Series, 600, 100 Series, Mercury, Star Runner, Pisces, Cutlass, Corsair, Caterpillar, and Odyssey. Yeah, for me, I don't think I can do without any of those ships. Um, there's a lot of those because it kind of includes the ones that I feel like Lisa. I, I associate with Lisa because we always do everything together. Um but I think that's where I put those. Oddly enough, there's only one out of all of the rankings that I'm actually surprised on the location for. Oh? Uh, the 400. I'm kind of surprised it's down in silver. I was expecting you to put it in gold. <clears throat> its purpose right now is to get me from Microtech to, like, Crusader. Um, I'm not using it as yeah. much. Fair point. But, I mean, it can also haul a bike. It can also haul cargo. It, it's not useless. No, it's not. It's a good... Actually, let's, let's bring it up. Because it's... I'm not, I'm, not try, I'm not trying to force your hand. I was just saying. No. I was surprised. You didn't have to move it. I'm sorry. I didn't no, 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 no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a good point on moving because, to me... I know you like that ship. Like, to me, I, know I you, like it more really than the like Constellation. It. So, like, if the Constellation's got a gold, that should get there. To be honest, <laughs> to be honest, because of that, that sentence, if the Constellation's getting a gold, the the Starfighter and the Valkyrie should be up here, too. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, <laughs> Harold's still here. Buck's still here. So, yeah, and gold, Super like Hornets. work all of your stuff. No way, that's why I'm like Sorry. talking about this out loud right now cuz I'm like re yeah. rejiggering things. Um I think the gold tier that uh, feels about right. Our Super Hornet and Gladius, that's a lot of our pew pew if we're not in Avengers. Yeah. Um Constellation and 400. Yeah, like I take the 400 pretty much when you take the Phoenix. The Valkyrie, I really love. The Valkyrie is what opened my wallet this IE and then money just started falling out of it. Um but the Valkyrie was why I decided to start buying things because I like it. Oh, I kept 
I keep my I kept mind blinking on which one the Valkyrie one is. It's the one with the ladder, isn't it? Yes. Uh, and the the doorways to the the jump the 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 the, the seats. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I remember which one it is now. Thank you. And that's okay. the only reason why uh, my my least favorite thing on the Valkyrie is all the jump seats, because like the Cutlass Steel, you don't need that many jump seats. Like, sure, at some point we're going to have, like, massive servers where we can have 50 on 50 battles. Yeah, someday. Um, I think jump seats like that much. Same with the M2 on the Hercules. I think they're pointless. Um, two to four extra seats. Just, useful. 16. The Valkyrie should dumb. just offer a, a variant where instead of jump seats, that's all more cargo or something like that, I think. <clears throat> yeah um or maybe um bounty hunting boxes or something like that yeah um bring you down here I want you in the box get in the box um so that, yeah that looks good on the, in the gold. Box. arguably the nomad could potentially go up into the gold but yeah i'm yeah um no, I think I think silver is a good place for it. Like, it has a very specific job. It doesn't take a lot of cargo. I mean, it's 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 an El Camino in my mind. It's 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 good at what it does, but like I think silver tier is where it belongs. Yeah. Um. So silver, I feel pretty solid on. Um, yeah. Bronze, I think I feel pretty solid on. I would love to put the Reliant and Freelancer higher. Actually, everything in bronze I would love to put higher. Except for the Mustang, probably. I'm not a huge Mustang fan, aside from Flying Chicken. Um, the Gamma, the racing one's fun to fly. But, like, nah. The M50's funner. Um, 300 series is cool. I feel like it's bloated. The 100 series is, like, just nicer to me. Yeah, I agree with that. <clears throat> My the honorable mentions in ships that we don't have. Yeah, maybe the two alien ships at some point. The um, I am intrigued by a potential whole C. Um. The arrow maybe the saber's cool. The eclipse is cool. Um, the liberator and hammerator. The hammerator. <laughs> the liberator and hammerhead are need. For concepts, but yeah, the tugboat could be useful on the SRV. The Genesis Starliner will likely be a purchase, but I want to see what it looks like when it comes out. But the fact that I love every single Crusader ship, that's likely going to be a thing. The Hawk's cool, except fragile at times. The Mantis is neat. Um, the Mantis, Apollo, and Scorpius all might move. The Terrapin might move at some point if you happen to buy a turtle. Um, the um, hurricane. Yeah, I don't know. Hold on, sorry. The Redeemer is a really good ship. Lots of people like it, but it's just and I don't have plan to have it crewed all that often. With the Fearless Onion around a lot, I've mildly thought about having or get having it, but yeah, not really. And the Retaliator, I love the way you look, but you're just not. Um, a lot of the, not. yeah, you're just not, a lot of the big ships are all down here. I just don't think that they're going to be useful. The Saber Raven, it's not a ship that people can easily go buy. Um, actually, I don't think you can buy it. I think someone said that you can't even trade it. So like, unless you got that MT yeah. Intel Optane drive, you're not going to have it. I know people love the Carrick. It's just too much of a ship. Actually, on the topic of the Carrick versus the Odyssey, I love the layout of the Odyssey. The front half of the ship is a ship, and the back half is a hangar. Looks great. The Carrick, it's just it just doesn't just doesn't do it for me. Um, the times I've flown it because we I won because we have the Odyssey. It's just it's it I just don't like it. It's too big of a ship. Too um, just nah, just doesn't do it for me. Um. Razor, rather have the M50. Hornet, Super Hornet, because I got an extra seat in it. Arguably, if you don't care about having an extra seat, I'm sure the Hornet should be up higher, but I care about having an extra seat. 
Starfarer, your purpose is coming soon, but I actually think we're going to get a refueling ship instead of... Well, we already have you, but I think we're going to get a refueling ship as well. Um, and, like, your interiors were done before people knew how to make an interior of a ship. Well, specifically, it was made for a first-person shooter level, which doesn't matter. Car tool all. Um, you're pretty, you're neat, but you're fragile and weird. Um, Santak Yai, you're cool, but you're alien. All of the the Vandal ships are rad, but like, oh, you're going to do the thing I want. But like, you're just, yeah, it's neat. Um, I'm not sure if you saw the bug where if I sit in you, all of the my UI is red from now until forever. But yeah, just not really filling you anymore. Though I think the glaive I am interested in maybe getting at some point, but like, yeah. I'm not I'm not a big alien fan. Makes me think that I should join Zeno Threat or whatever in the verse. Like Prowler, you're neat, whatever, but you're you ain't you ain't my bag. Raylan, get a Hercules. Um the giant X configuration of it's kinda cool, but Meh. And then lightning. Lightning will be red if I spend that much money. But. Or if I do the stars, the Squadron 42 thing. But again, I'm not a combat pilot. I am. Um, actually, that's probably pretty clear because nothing. I don't think we have a single combat ship in our platinum tier. <laughs> Arguably the Titan or the Avenger. Um, yeah. I mean, the, the the Cutlass and the Corsair have a lot of pew-pew, but they do not. They I would not view them as a, a, a combat ship. So, yeah, combat ships, not so much for, for me. Um, I do like bigger ships. I like the, the, the sweet spot to us is like the medium tier ship. So Mercury, Star Runner, 600, 400, Constellation, Corsair, Cutlass even, like um, Valkyrie. You can have a small party in it. You can do it by yourself. Um, since I always play with Lisa, I always have Lisa around. So that all kind of works. Um, and, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, combat ships, Super Horn and Gladius. That seems all right. Yeah, I think this is my, my ranking. I, I need to go make in a, um, a prospector silhouette i am sad that i missed that um but yeah just think prospector equals mole and that kind of goes with it mole is great if you got friends for mining prospector if you're by yourself use a prospector or a mole to get enough money to buy an orion if in game if that's what you're going to go for um yeah yeah i think that is my my rankings trying to fit the constellation into the little chart here but i think that is that is what i'm going to do um so yeah if anyone ever wants to know what my opinions of ships are this is kind of it um there's a lot of ships in star citizen um when i was doing all the silhouettes i was surprised at how many ships there actually are um, just sort of made to sort of have a realization that, man, there's a lot of things in here. And these are not split out. Like the Constellation, there's four of them. Five, I guess, if you count the Emerald. Um, you know, there's four Cutlasses now. There's two Starfighters. There's three Hercules. Um, there's four Vanguards. It was what, four one hundred three tree. Like three one hundreds, <laughs> four three hundreds. Like, four Freelancers, four Reliance. Like, there's a lot of different ships. Um, in the verse here, I didn't mm -hmm. even stamp my seal of approval across these. Ah! What this? And big in my logo. There, boom. It was almost like it was designed to fit there. Um, but yeah. I think that is it. I got everybody on the the grid so i can save a nice little jpeg and in place somewhere to to you know maybe spark some internet drama or something <laughs> <laughs> rubble, yeah. rubble, rubble, rubble. 
So, especially since this will end up in YouTube at some point, and I don't think there's comments or whatever, feel free to comment about how I'm a horrible person for hating on the, the Merchant Man and the Carrick in the comments below or something. Um, but this is my take right now on Star Citizen ships for January 2022. I think I might have even said 21 earlier. Time's a construct, man. Um, yeah. But I might do this every so often and I'll update. I'm going to update. Um, I'm going to make a silhouette for the prospector. I'm going to throw the prospector on here. Um, I need to. In, in the Discord, I already have. Actually, here. Because um, I have the Discord here. And if I already have it in the Discord, then that means that I can grab it from the Discord. So I have um, the silhouettes and stuff for this in an SVG file up in my GitHub profile at there. Um, feel free to <clears throat> to use the silhouettes for anything if you wanted to. Um, I will add the prospector to that later. Um, it's an SVG file, which is read by Inkscape, the pro open source um, vector art program that I love. Um, think of it as Illustrator, except open source and not owned by a evil company like Adobe. Um, I don't know if evil's fair, but I don't really like Adobe all that much. Um, and yeah, um, I think that's that. So thank you for spending your Sunday morning or afternoon with me. I appreciate you all listening to me rant about ships. Um, I am always thrilled to talk about ships and Star Citizen stuff. So feel free to hop into chats or discords or whatever. And I think that's will it for this. Huh? Yeah. Will we be returning later today at some point? Yeah. Um, we'll be back on stream. Kind of stream in? We'll be back on stream in about two hours. Um, I don't know if we're going to be playing Valheim or Star Citizen. Um, I'm probably going to sit and chat with Lisa to see what else. I'm starting to go through Star Citizen withdrawals because I have not been in Star Citizen for a while. So, <laughs> Tr Tris suggests Valheim. <laughs> so if it is Valheim, it will be Valheim because I actually put a pretty high priority on Driz time. Um, so if Driz we is... Do, we, we do have that, um, that teleport thing we need to make now. We do. We have some projects to do in Valheim. It's a pretty... Good thing. Actually, I don't think we've given a tour of, of Valheim. Um, so one of the reasons the the streamers that we're playing with Valheim with, well, Hefe's not a streamer, but Screaming Sauce, Driz, and Ender, um, we like they're all amazing people, and like a lot of the time we will totally end up in our yeah. There you go. Check out our Valheim crew um, playing Valheim right now because we get to hang out with cool people. Um, I am very eager to hopefully have more and more people support Driz's art channel so we can get a, a snazzy computer to um, get Driz into Star Citizen. Um, yeah. And I'm slowly working on trying to convince Hefe to, to, to get into Star Citizen. He has it. He's been an early backer. He just was waiting. He's a very patient man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at some you point. Y'all should also check out Driz Taloth because if you like Star Citizen, she is currently painting a saber and it is coming out beautifully. A saber <laughs> um, raven. Um, and yeah, uh, she did a arrow, I believe, last. Now she's doing the saber raven. And I believe each of her paintings after they're done goes up for sale. So, if you want to buy some nifty freaking Star Citizen paintings, go check her out. And the same Also, congratulations, Drez, for becoming an affiliate. Yeah. Woo. Woo. And, Yay. um, yeah. While the Saber Raven is down in my Poodoo list, and the Saber Raven's a really snazzy ship, I don't want my hate on the Raven to go there. It's I'm just jealous that I can't get one, I think is the main... <laughs> The main thing on you the Saber Raven is if I, um, I've looked actually trying to go buy an Intel Optane drive to get one at some point, but I think aside from going on eBay and hoping nobody has, um, you know, used the code for it, <coughs> is like, it's a snazzy ship. 
but like it, it'll be forever rare unless they decide to and to to open it up but it is i mean, look at the silhouette it's cool amusingly in the this is the front on on the right side because with with um space games they could be either coming or going in this picture i don't know but yeah the front's on the right side <laughs> you can kind of tell because of the guns yeah, but it's also space games. They could just be random things hanging off. Yeah, fair point. But, um, yeah, the Saber Raven's a cool ship. Um, it's on my Pudu list just because I'm jealous and I can't have one. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. So, thank you all. We're going to have lunch and stuff, and then we'll be back online around um, on two hours from now. And, and yeah, actually, just in general, I love Star Citizen ships. Um, I will do a quick, like, gushing over Star Citizen. Star Citizen is like a dream. Um, it's It has its problems. I always used to say that my, my um, Star Citizen relationship is complicated. Um, <laughs> the things that Star Citizen does, there's no other game that does something similar to it. There's just a magic to Star Citizen that other games don't have. And it's the closest thing to what I want since Star Wars Galaxies. I've had a huge void in my space sim since Star Wars Galaxies went away. But I want to exist in a, a verse. I want my ships. I want to be able to get out and walk around my ships. I want to interact with things. And Star Citizen is a lot of things. Um, it's the poster style for scope creep. Ha ha ha, it's going to be in development forever. Scam Citizen, all those things. And there's various degrees of, I guess, truth for all of them. Um, I had a couple of digs about, uh, I don't think that I don't, like any of the old concept ships aren't going to see the light of day for a long time. Instead, we'll get some straight to flyable ships instead because they're the new hotness and the current developers like it. Um, I can make more money off of that. That too. I'm sorry, the funding is great. If you're making that much money, we're not going to change it. Um, and that's all fine. The, the attention to detail in this game is stupid insane. If you like to get lost in a game or just wander around, um, way back in, in the verse, there was a point where you couldn't launch your ships off of, um, Port Olisar back when it was just Port Olisar. The only thing you can do is walk around Port Olisar and spawn a ship and that wasn't working. Um... And I have a t-shirt in the game that actually says, like, ha, ah, stuck in Port Olisar from being around during <laughs> that. And the um, the thing was, is one of my fond memories was just walking out of the station and EVAing around with no sound other than the little jets on my, my, my suit as I, you know, pss, 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 around the station. And it was just really great. The game is a screenshot and adventure engine. Um... Going back to just this last bit of advice. Dang, where are you? Where'd my advice go? There it is. Is, um... You don't need to buy everything. Every game is available. Every ship is available in-game. You can get in with just an Aurora, a crew on other people's ships, and putts around. I think the Aurora game package is 45 bucks. At this point, the game is a long-term thing. It'll be around. It's not going anywhere. I feel Star Citizen and makes a very great second game. Come in, putz around, get bored, or do whatever you want to do. Or get frustrated because there are bugs, there are problems with it. Then go play something else. Come back to it in a few months and be marveled at how much progress it's made since the last two years the game has just... Um, jumped forward and things and I used to never recommend the game I used to comment that my my relationship was complicated um, but especially for 45 bucks can you get 45 bucks worth of fun out of it yeah um, yeah my um, my opinions skewed a little bit because we as evidenced by the other picture we have spent a lot of retail therapy on this game over the years <laughs> Um <laughs> And it's a number that I wanted to... I was actually going to bring up the GIF. We should post it in our Discord of the the um, Mo from Wrecked Ralph where, you know, Pop and then the monocle on top ad comes on for being coming in oh, concierge. Yeah. yeah. And um, 
So we have spent by far the most money in any game ever, and we tend to be whales in games. And do I feel like I've got my money's worth out of the um, stupid amount of money I've spent in this game? Yeah, I have. Because I have countless hours putzing around with Lisa, making stories, making adventures. Most of the bugs for me and Lisa, because she's always there, generally aren't frustrating bugs for us. They become adventures. Like, well, my ship's gone. Um, Lisa, can you come save me? Or um, the frustrating ones would be the random heart attack bugs, but that was sort of funny. It's like, well, I tripped down the stairs and got a concussion. Um, but yeah, it's a, it, it's special. Uh, that's why I think it might not be for everybody, but it's special. The um, it's it, it's a good second game. It's special. Get in the verse with an Aurora for forty bucks or forty five bucks, whatever it is. Um, if you like it, I would upgrade that Aurora to whatever your the ship is. So, like in my case, I would upgrade the Aurora to a Cutlass and then be done. If I never wanted to spend any more money. And then I'd use the cut list to make enough money to go rent. Uh, if I want to do mining, <coughs> rent a prospector. If I want to go start doing, if I want to do cargo running, the cut list actually is a good starting point for cargo running. And then I would rent or eventually buy in game with the profits from the cargo running in a bigger ship. And then eventually like a caterpillar or like a hull series or, or a C2. Like all of the, 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 um, you can do it all in game at this point. Um, and yeah, as Driz is saying, it's an ongoing project that keeps getting better. And the bugs do make it yeah. funny. Um, yeah. But it's a really, really, I don't know, it's special. That, that, that's it. It's a special game. Um, yeah. I imagine. I, I, no, go ahead. No, I was, sorry, I was just going to say, I would say if you can afford it, my personal get into the game ship would be the Avenger Titan. Because it can do all the things. It's twenty dollars more. It's like sixty. Actually, I just had it up. It's sixty-three bucks currently. Oh wow, that's uh, a good price. <laughs> it's it's normally seventy currently until January tenth. It's sixty-three dollars. So it's like an extra twenty to thirty dollars, depending on if you're on getting it on sale or not. Um, but it can do all of the jobs. It can do. Um, bounty hunting. It can do um, uh, delivery missions. It, it, like it's. It can really do bunker great. stuff. Great. <laughs> it can do. It can do bunker stuff. <laughs> it's a really great, in my opinion, first ship to have. You can also put small so vehicles my, like a dragonfly in it. Opinion. Yeah. Uh, wait. What? You can. You, you can fit smaller vehicles like a dragonfly in the Avenger. In the Avenger Titan. It fills up pretty much the whole rear, but you can fit a bike in the back of it. The Nox might be really? a little bit better about it. It's useful. It's it's neat. The <laughs> Nomad, if you were going on like a mining route, um, the Nomad with its pickup truck back would be useful to put. Like There's a, a mining buggy called a Rock that fits on that. If the Rock also fits in the Cutlass. <clears throat> the Cutlass can fit a decent amount. The Cutlass Freelancer and Nomad can fit some of the vehicles in it in the back. But the Avenger, out of, like, those ships, I'd actually put the Avenger better for combat stuff. The Avenger, I have found that I'm flying my Moldy Penguin around more when I'm by myself than any other ship in the verse right now. It just, it's useful. Um, but really, any of those six ships on the one ship, two ship bit there, I think any one of those six could be a person's only ship, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Um, I agree with that, yeah. And it's yeah, just, just whatever you like. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you like and how big your wallet is. Because the Star Runner, yeah. I don't think, is cheap. Um, I generally, no, I do not play for this. No, and I generally don't. I, I generally try to cap any recommendation I have for a person at about 100 bucks, And you're topping out at like the Freelancer and Cutlass for those. And the Freelancer is yeah, a I bit over 100 it. Yeah, I feel like the Avenger is still within the, like, at 60-something dollars, it's still within the, like, first ship range, and I feel like it's it was, it's a decent ship for first ship, yeah. Yep, I agree with that, and so does pretty much everybody in the universe, because if everybody will comment that the first ship should be a Titan, um, mm -hmm. you can just do all the... Th 
all the things except for specialized things like mining in it. You're not going to be out mining in the Avenger. You're not going to throw a rock in the back of the Avenger to go out mining. Um, but you can do bounty hunting missions up to pretty high level, I think. Like, at least the hard ones, not if not the very hard and extreme. Like, granted, they get harder the harder that they go. But, like, the Avenger feels pretty solid from the combat pilot perspective. Um, hell, you've been using the Avenger over the Gladius, like, for most of your stuff. Um, yeah, that's because of the gimbals, but yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... My picks on just getting into the game, especially if you just want a ship, and then just to have for the last bit. My my podium. This is this is this is what I think of ships. My my heartfelt gut opinion. <laughs> And then, other than that, thank you all for hanging out. We'll be back in a couple hours. It sounds like we'll likely be in Valheim, especially since it seems like there's a hefty online already. And Driz seemed interested. So, we'll be back Hopefully after lunch. Join us. And catch y'all in a little bit. So, thank you. Thanks for joining us all. Take and, care. And bye-bye.